Alrighty, Steve. Um, what uh, what would you like your position to be for this one? Uh, well, chair of the 2018 150th celebration of Salinas. Perfect. All right, Steve. So. What is happening this weekend? Big, big deal. Next weekend. Oh, it's next weekend. <laughs> oh, I thought it was this weekend. Sorry. Uh, April 14th marks the 150th celebration and the layout of the city of Salinas. Our forefathers designed an incredible community. We are concurrently celebrating the 150th of our, our Salinas City Elementary Schools, the 100th of Farm Bureau, the 100th of our Chamber of Commerce. This is a, a great community celebration. Have you, well obviously 150th, that's the, a huge one. Has the city done anything like this before? For four years, the city has celebrated Founders Day, the day that we were founded as a city in 1868. This is our 150th, and so in that celebration, we've invited sister cities, community partners. We have three stages, there'll be public art, just a fabulous celebration of, of our community and, and what it is and what it will be in 150 years to come. So what kind of, uh, what, what will this, event, what can people expect at this event? I think folks are going to expect a family friendly event. They're going to see a lot of culture, art. They're going to see our history come alive as the museums are open and available to the public. There's lectures, food, music, entertainment. This is a family friendly community event celebrating 150 years in Salinas. Gotcha. And I understand uh, a lot of the history is going to come alive, if you will. You talk about that in terms of, uh, I understand that you're going to have like food from, from back in the day or something like that, or speeches and stuff. It's one thing to read about history, it's another thing to experience it. And so the best and brightest in our historical resources community will be here, alongside our elementary school district and a number of other partners that will celebrate Salinas. Sure. Um, what would you do or say to, to tell people, especially Salinas residents and other Monterey County residents, to make sure they come out for this? We're inviting the members of the public to this free family-friendly event. We'll have more than 75 vendors, we will have art, stages, performances, and, and most importantly, we're very excited about the 150th of our school district, I gotta say. It's really cool, they'll be out with performances and music. It's its really a special time for Salinas. A, a reason to come together and, and celebrate our community. Perfect. Anything else you'd like to add about this event? I think that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And if you really quick could just give a, like a little synopsis, uh, basically what it is and why people I, come out in Spanish. So, and uh, if you could just say your uh, position in Spanish. Si, soy uh, el líder de, de celebración de 150 años aquí en Salinas. Okay, and then if you could just go over uh, what's going on and why people should come. Tenemos un gigante equipo que está planeando una gran celebración aquí en Salinas. De las escuelas, de agricultura, de la ciudad. Tenemos diferentes actividades, lecturas, música, comida, todo gratis. Es un evento para familias. Anything else in Spanish you'd like to add? Son, uh, uh, hay muchas actividades para niños. Eso es el año de 150 años para nuestras escuelas en Salinas. So, entonces tenemos muchas actividades para los niños y todo gratis. Eso es un evento, una celebración gran, positiva para Salinas. So, if you can just say your uh, first and last name and position. Martha L. Martinez, Superintendent for Salinas City Elementary School District. All right, Martha. So, um, in your own words, tell me, tell me a little bit about this event that is going to be happening uh, a week from Saturday. Well, it's a grand celebration um, of history, and uh, obviously our our school district turning 150 years old, actually in the fall um, of 1868 when we were first established, and um, we were asked to join in this effort by City Council <coughs> Steve McShane and the Mayor to join in their celebration of 150 years old. So um, to kick off next week, we will have two public school tours at uh, beginning on April 10th at Roosevelt School, 9.30 to 11, and then on Thursday, April 12th, we'll have a public school tour of Lincoln um, Elementary School District. Those two schools uh, represent the East End and the West End schools that were uh, established, well, actually Lincoln, the uh, East End School was established in 1868. Okay, gotcha. 
What kind of uh, things at the the Founders Day event on that Saturday, Saturday the 14th, I believe? It is April the 14th on Saturday, beginning at 9 o'clock. We are so excited. We are going to be um, collaborating with the city and having the children's area. So ongoing entertainment from all our uh, different grade levels. Uh, we have 14 schools and children from all of those 14 schools will be uh, performing on uh, the children's area stage and they'll be singing. Um, we have two great music teachers that have been preparing our students all year long with um, period music. Um, so each grade level will be doing a, you know, period historical songs from the different periods. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add about this fun event? Just the excitement um, that a type of event has um, the ability to draw together our community and uh, really provide uh, activities that are that are family oriented and we will have booths where the kids can participate. A lot of our activities will be free to the public and so we're really excited to collaborate with the City of Salinas and celebrate together. Awesome. Thank Perfect. You. And Thanks. really quick, do you speak Spanish? Uh, you can try. Okay. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind just giving me a quick synopsis of, uh, in your words, the Founders Day event as okay. well as how the, the uh, schools will be involved. Okay. Okay. And uh, there we go. And if once again you can just say your, your name and position in Spanish. So I'm Martha Martinez, uh, Superintendente del uh, Distrito de Salinas City. Okay. And if you could just talk about the event and how the schools will be involved. Okay. So primero vamos a ofrecer unos um, presentaciones en, en dos escuelas en, el prox en la semana que entra. En el martes, um, el 10 de abril, vamos a tener um, tours en la escuela de Roosevelt y vamos a empezar a las nueve y media en la mañana. So, um, todo el público está invitado uh, a ver la escuela. Esa es una de las uh, dos escuelas que son mayores en este distrito. Uh, estábamos establado en uh, 80... <laughs> no, uh, 1868. <laughs> no. That works. Okay. <laughs> y vamos a celebrar el 150 años um, de existencia. So estamos estamos muy orgullosos sobre tener uh, las actividades que van a empezar también en uh, el sábado, el uh, 14 de abril. Y vamos a tener muchas actividades por los niños, nuestros estudiantes de todos los 14 escuelas en nuestro distrito van a hacer presentaciones uh, empezando a las 9 en la mañana hasta las 3 en la tarde. Salinas City Elementary School District. And so 
so we're hoping to, I'm hoping to organize all of the entertainment and uh, the events, the music that's happening there with other children <laughs> and other things he's assigned. But, so I have to say my favorite music group has to be our wonderful students. And there's some people. Oh, Hey everyone, my name is Richard Dim, and I'm also with Selena City Elementary School District, and I'm helping with all the logistics of the kids' zone, and uh, right now on my playlist is some reggaeton, and it's some Osuna and Romeo Santos. Martha Martinez, superintendent for Selena City, and um, dollar native dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, my favorite musician, by far, Henry Oh, yeah. uh, Don Larson, City of Salinas. My favorite. I'll only go for two, I guess. So. Beatles and Bob Dylan. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Carl Christensen. I conduct my own county pops, and we're going to be playing on the main stage. And I've, I've been rounding up uh, other entertainment for the main stage. And my favorite musician is Gustavo Gustavo Dudamel. If you don't know who that is, ask me afterwards. Okay. Okay. Patricia Rodriguez, and I'm helping with vendors for the event. And I've got to say, my son, he's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom Tapp. I'm doing the finance and whatever else needs to be done right at the moment. Um, and I love jazz, though. So not one specific person, just jazz music in general. Wow, that's good. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, let's just dive right in. Um, I want to start by working with. Um, I think vendors is something that's that's kind of hot and a good commodity. And maybe some good finance, sponsorship, yeah. Yeah. budget, yeah. Take a whole time. Um, yeah. pass it around. I'll, I'll just start by saying the good news is we've surpassed our fundraising goal. Yeah. Our goal is twenty-five thousand, and we're just over that. Um, ultimately, our budget will, will actually be a bit more than that because we have fees coming in from vendors, and they last minute sponsorships as well. That will ensure a gift, uh, our, our gift to the first person house, not to mention uh, ensure some seed money for next year. Uh, we're very excited about that. So there's a summary of the sponsorships coming around. There's again additional ones that aren't on here um, that, that have come in since. So it's, it's looking really, really good. Um, as for budget, without drilling down too much into the detail, I'll, I'll turn it over to um, my big question to him a few days ago was, I just want to make sure, are we going to make it? And you know, Tom's resounding answer was yes. So anything you want to touch on or highlight as part of the budget or sponsorship? You know, right now, unless I'm missing some bills that haven't been submitted, we're doing really well. We're right on track from what we originally planned. Um, the sponsorship, Steve already mentioned the head. Thank you, Steve. Most of those. Um, I'm still working with Robo Bank to see if they're going to sponsor, so there might be another sponsor there. Um, Patty was able to get us two in kind sponsorships one for La Buena and one for Intravision. And so they're going to be doing some radio spots for us. Yeah, very successful. Yeah. So. yeah, the Herald's doing the match um, as well, so we'll be in the Herald. Um, and I know. Rich has done a tremendous job via Facebook, and so we made the decision we will opt the amount of money we want to give you to do continual advertising for the 10th, the 12th, uh, and then the main event on the 14th as well. So if there's any questions on budget or finance, I want to continue on. Um, there's the Native Sons Barbecue, uh, and I wanted to just offer the floor to Carrie if you wanted to say anything um, about the barbecue, how ticket sales are going, um, anything you want to say there. Ticket sales are going to do better. <laughs> so if any of you would like some tickets, let me know. Um, if you've gotten tickets and you're still on the space plan, get a hold of before the event. So I don't have to worry about it today at the event. And we're also throwing a dedication that day. We'll be here for the freight info. So I hope you can all be here for the grand opening. And I want to thank all of you for showing up and helping this year. It's just so great to see so much. The beginning to the year is 2,000% better. Thank you all. What time? Absolutely. Uh huh. After opening ceremonies. After opening ceremonies. Eleven thirty. Yeah. So be sure to mention that in the program. I need to. Yeah. Need to so Carrie, be sure to sync up with Mary when we finish so that that can be in there. Um, why don't we also just touch on food as it relates to Patty and any sort of the other vendor stuff at this time? That's all right. 
anything you want to just said. This is a good time to do a vendor report. Uh, there's quite an impressive list there. Um, have we exceeded our number of vendors that we set as our goal? Yes. Wow, how many round of applause? So if there's anything that is vendor related that you need space, uh, be sure to talk to, to Patty. Um, you know, keep in mind that we have this large footprint dedicated for Salina City Elementary School District. So how that is laid out um, or what you include there may be. And we, we were here at three, so we kind of mapped out our area. Okay. We may have some additional space if you need some. So if you want to contact me and um, work through both Rich and I and if you want, maybe now is a good time to kind of give a bit of a report as to what you, Ron, and Rich yeah, have up your sleeves. Um, I will mention CHP is verbally going to be coming. They can bring a car. Cal Fire can, is planning on bringing a large truck, one of those off-road, wildfire, really cool looking trucks. So those type of apparatus could easily be parked within the footprint of Salina City. Yeah, that would be great. We, we were out in our area today, and we're going to bring our food trucks. I know you guys have seen them around town. Yeah. They've got the great agricultural scenes on the sides. And we thought those would be really great. Also, sound buffers, as oh, Mary and I were out there today, you know, blocking off some of that noise. So if we want to put a um, fire truck out there or something else as making actually the boundary, kind of that uh, southern boundary on that end, that would be good too. So we'll be back out here on Friday afternoon. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for security on Friday. Yeah, you saw um, that. Yes, because um, we'll have our stage and our tents being set up on Friday. So when we come out here, kind of the logistical, last logistical pieces, our booths were going to be set up on Friday, also by our maintenance guys. Um, Mary and, I mean, just it's just all coming together in terms of the, um, the event itself. The, the public school tours that we're conducting starting next Tuesday and Thursday at Lincoln, th uh, Tuesday at uh, Roosevelt, Thursday um, at Lincoln. It's really exciting. Um, the, you know, they've done some beautification, a lot of beautification at Roosevelt. Uh, we're setting up, and they have some decade um, bulletin boards, and then the kids uh, have been doing a lot of art. So um, it's going to be art up on the hallways and um, working with the art council. Um, we've got secured a mural for us, and we're going to borrow from the Steinbeck Center, actually. So we're just, it's just uh, a, a whole collaboration with a lot of folks coming together. I think it's going to be really nice. We're staging one room in each school as um, kind of in, 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 with some period things. Uh, James from the Historical Society will be here with his traveling trunk. And so the tour will begin in the garden areas, weather permitting. Um, so there's always a plan B, but right now it's <coughs> out in the garden area. Um, I'll have Steve here going to attend, so I'll introduce you yeah, at the beginning of welcome. Um, we're not inviting a lot of dignitaries at this point because it really is to get the show on the road when we have an hour and a half. So we'll do probably a 20, 25 minute program, a very short, the kids will sing a patriotic song, a little historical chat around that, um, and another historical song. So it's going to be very quick and and um, go, then we'll lead into the corridors, walk the hallways on um, both buildings, a rectangular kind of hacienda style, and then end up um, in a room where all the staging stuff will happen, and people can just, you know, leisure through that space and then go back into the garden area for a small reception. So that's that's pretty much the the essence of the boat tours on at each school. Cool. And and I will share what I shared with Martha. Uh, I'm going to be presenting a tree at each school on behalf of you know our efforts and the, the city. Um, you know sort of as a as an opportunity to sort of commemorate 150 years of which we need. Um, very good. Any questions for Martha? Would now be a good time to I, we have the schedule in the packet for the stage. Um, you know, I think outside of that, we're, we're looking real good. So. Probably the only other thing I'll add yeah. is we, we deliberated yesterday with our team um, in terms of 
the games and uh, that we're providing for the kids. And I think we have about 10 games, booths, and different tables that are going to be out there. We're going to be selling little bracelets uh, for $2 each, two for $5. We want to make them affordable, and the kids can play a limited game. Great. So, um, you know, it's going to be rather than each booth charging a dollar, two dollars for a game or something. Kids can just, I mean, a lot of this were really, they were pretty adamant. I wanted to make money. But <laughs> they were pretty adamant of making it very affordable for any families to come out. Our kids that are performing will get a bracelet and they'll be able to go free. Wonderful. So um, there's, you know, I think it's, it's really just a service to our community. How's the reception been with the students and parents? Do you feel like it's going to. Well, we got the flyers out today, so we'll find out. Um, okay. um, we're. You know, Rich has been incredible in terms of print media, uh, both for the program, and I didn't bring those to share with you, but he did a beautiful kind of a sepia look on each school with yeah, old photos in there with a short little history piece on there um, for our public school tours. And then for the flyers, uh, we're sending those home today, and then we'll have uh, another flyer go home next week, and then an all will go home on Friday. Wow, wonderful. And he created awesome. one for each grade level because each grade level is performing at a different time. So I think it's really personalized invitation to parents. So. Wonderful. Okay. Um, moving on to beverage, just worth a mention. We did a walkthrough, we discussed with Rotary. Uh, Rotary will have use of the end of the freight building there. So that'll be kind of their home base, if you will. They'll likely serve out on the patio. They acquired the necessary licenses. They have the ABC going through. Uh, and then this area out here will be sort of a setup where they can provide, uh, call it a lounge. I mean, you know, wine barrels and tabletops where folks, if they want to have a beer or a glass of wine, they can do so. So uh, there's been some suggestion maybe we spread some straw or something. We've got to think about that. But uh, um, I just wanted to assure that that was, that was looking good. Um, I'm really delighted that both Sal and Carl uh, are here. Great successes. Maybe Carl, you can start it off, and Sal can say a few words about uh, Guanajuato as well. But um, I mean, the score with the Estudiantes de Guanajuato is huge. Uh, yeah. Maybe a few words. Well, the schedule's still a little bit up in the air, but Salvador is in, in contact with the, you know, the Guanajuato is this very scenic city in Mexico. It's also a state, and the governor of the state is involved with sending this Estudiantina up here once in a while, and they're going to have. By other places in California. And Estudiantina is an import from Spain. The idea is young people wearing uh, medieval capes and hats and things and strolling through the streets and serenading. So they play guitars and sing, everybody sings. And there'll be 12 of them, I understand. Uh, we got them going over to Hartnell to work with the classes over there on Thursday morning if, if they can make it. And then we've been, been in touch with Dr. Wallen that they will uh, go play in the College Center at noon. Sure. Cool. And, then, and then we'll get them over to the Steinbeck House at 5.30 to play on the front lawn as people are coming in for the dinner. And then, of course, they'll be here for the event on Saturday and a couple different times on the main stage, which I guess is over here, right? <laughs> and, uh, and, but then they'll also be strolling all, all around the grounds because that's part of being a student at Tina is that they're, they walk. They stop and sing, but then they can go to another place. They go that I can go now as an alley, the alleyway city. Right. Yeah. Uh, I spoke to the director of cultural activities, mm -hmm. and this particular student has been going around the world. Mm -hmm. And due to the very popular uh, group, all of Casa Guanajuato, mm -hmm. uh, they wonder. <laughs> in the beginning, we're going to have it for four to five days, you know, and we're going to take it throughout the five county area. Yeah. Because, uh, this morning, I spoke with uh, with a director and said that they are, they are talking on the details of their what will be itinerary due to the popular, by popular demand mm -hmm. of the other Casas when they want it. LA, uh, even Napa, <coughs> and uh, um, throughout our area there is, there is a six Casas on the Wow. So they're going to try to put them in, you know, in all of them. Mm -hmm. So I told them to at least give us guarantee two days for us. Sure. Uh -huh. So we have to adjust the presentations. 
So we are waiting to maybe tonight they're going to send us an email so we can clear that up by tomorrow. Great, great. If there is an appropriate connection to the school district, let yeah. them know because that's why I haven't asked. Stop you know, by. Do you okay. do you want us? So what would be the times opening for Anne to have? Well, five so right now it's in the air. Yes, yeah, we don't know for sure. I, I was planning the whole you know, Okay. It was from the uh, 10th to the 15th, to five whole days, you know, before presentations. Mm -hmm. At least two presentations a day. That, that's what I was you know, organizing. But due to this adjustment, and now it's kind of in the air, and I said, okay, I promise they have at least two days, so they're going to tell us which two days are going to be. So cool. I can give you my cell phone number, you can call yeah. me. And, I don't know. And then just, but you know, schools, so I can arrange schedules if they Yes. As soon as I know, I will call everybody and see okay. what we can do. Also, Rally Bilingue is going to interview them, and they're going to be on live, uh, you know, playing yeah. on the radio. Great. And yeah, uh, advertise anything. Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. Carl, to the extent that, um, and I know you, you're pretty focused on the main stage, are you able to just touch bases with Gary Braschini with regards to the lectures? I can. Or, or you can, Mary? Okay. All right. That, so that's okay. Gary has a very bad respiratory um, oh, boy, influenza okay. to the point where he went to get it and get out of car. Uh, so, okay. in the interim, James, um, Gary, who is the curator, uh, has taken on that responsibility. He's coordinating. He's coordinating. Um, we have at the, at the historic party house, we have um, block out draperies, which so we're going to yeah. be bringing over here and hanging at the windows. And we'll be bringing our um, screen. Okay. And I think he's working with uh, somebody <laughs> about um, okay. the, the AV equipment. Okay. We have a, a podium at the first mayor's house, okay. party house, that has a speaker in it. So we're we'll bringing that down. So it's it's good. It's good. They they have their full itinerary of speakers. If it needed, it's well. Okay. Um, real quickly on the permitting, Tom, myself, uh, a couple of others attended the city's permitting. It went fine. I don't want to bother you with the details. I mean, it went smoother than I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, just very smooth. Uh, Caltrans. There's a special permit and right away that needed permission, but as far as I know, that's going through as well. Um, the one thing that, that we will need day of, and I'm glad to know that Mary has some AmeriCorps volunteers coming, at 6 a.m. we need to put the proper signage and barricades up. Well, kids here at 6. 6, yeah. So, so just... These are college. Yeah. Uh, we'll count on that. And, you know, we'll get to this at the end of the meeting, but for as many people that can be here early, that's that's the all hands on deck. Um, everybody, if it's possible. Obviously, some of you might have booths to set up, but uh, you know, just getting the barricades and the signage up and making sure everything goes smoothly. Uh, while I'm on that logistics and permitting piece, I talked with the general manager of American Supply just today, actually. Um, you know, that's confirmed. He's going to have that gate open at six. We have signage that designates vendor parking. Uh, and then, of course, I confirmed again the permission to use the parking lot here at the granary for uh, volunteers. So, again, just there'll be signage for that. We'll need to manage it. Uh, so that's where these volunteers come in, safety bass, you know, make sure that there's correct parking there. Um, I've had a couple of direct and indirect conversations with Sacred Heart. Does anybody go to Sacred Heart or have a good connection there? We made the connection with South Yeah, we made a lot. How did that Okay, and they are? No, we're going to, I mean, we made a connection to make the connection. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so we don't before we come Yeah, I just, I've talked to numerous parents and parishioners and different people. It's a very, very large church. And so it seems like there's a number of different... There's a big parking lot in the back. That's going to be great for us, but I just want to make sure that we get the right authority. And there's a handful of people that have said, oh, no problem to me. And I've been like, okay, I think that that's good enough, but I just, yeah, if you could go ahead. Question in the back. Question in the back. Yep. Uh, regarding volunteers at the First Mayor's House and the Railroad Museum about parking at the Granary, uh, are you going to passes for the volunteers to show or you know you're really good at graphic design are you able to design something like that if you do then either you print it or I'll print it either way but email it to me 
and we'll, we'll print some passes because there will be a check-in for vendors, volunteers, you know, there'll be a main kind of kiosk and as yeah, we manage that, you know, as volunteers show up, we can certainly give them out. There's going to be at least, you know, something like 12, 15 of my guys. Perfect. That get that same. Great. Yeah, so we got 100 we spots plus, we're fine. But 25, 30 spaces. Great. If our, we have two our, our people are going to get real upset if they have to if we park have six blocks away. <laughs> right. If we have two different parking passes, one for volunteers and one for vendors, then whoever's at the vendor lot will go, oh, you got a pass, you can go. Yep. So, perfect. We'll have both of those and we can go ahead and check. printed by Thursday. So if we can work, you're a great graphic designer. I don't know if it's possible, but we can, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll get those printed. That way we'll have next. So, so you want to say that you're all the vendors? Well, so it's a vendor. Cool. Steve, um, let's get up. So there's going to be security Friday night? Yes. So the city's trailer can be parked here? Absolutely. Anybody, anybody who wants to set up stuff that night. Anybody who wants to set up stuff that night. They'll be there all night. They'll be there all night. Okay. Perfect. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. So I guess arts because I saw Karen. Did she come in here? Hi. Hi. Um, I don't know if there's too much we need to update on other than we scored a mural yep. from Ejos del Sol. We have. You're going to be doing arts activities with the Salinas City Elementary School District. Um, the whole tent. The whole tent. We're so excited. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a question about the forty-foot mural. Is that supposed to be seen from a big distance? Or? Uh, well, I can't, I don't know exactly where it's going. I think if this building was the final decision. I don't know who I was emailing with about. I, I was, was on there. I was, was on there. Was, yeah, was on there. Okay. But we have vendors here, so we thought maybe in front of the rail display. Yeah. Yeah. If there are lots, lots of there aren't. You know, vendor tents well, in the parking lot immediately in front of the family fence. Otherwise, the artist said truly on the day of, we'll just he'll just decide it's going to be placed. Perfect. So, okay. I think our, our conclusion was on the chain link fence was best. It yeah. fit. It, it's long enough. It's high enough. We'll see. So, well, it's five feet tall and 144 feet long. No, no, 40 feet. No, no. Um, no the the area. Area. Oh, yeah. yeah. The area. mural is five feet tall and 40 feet long. Oh, yeah. Same way. Okay. Um, just because I'm sitting next to the executive director of the Monterey County Farm Bureau, uh, <laughs> is there anything you want to add? I mean, this is Farm Bureau's 100th, and I know they have a new space, um, so we're really excited about that. Um, was there anything that you needed? Uh, obviously, we have a map here, so. Is that cool? Are you yeah. bringing a tractor, right? Yeah, we're bringing in two tractors. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And then you can have a position. Okay. Yeah. But that will lock off that driveway. That's perfect. Okay. Um, is there going to be a way then, if it's not in my booth, to rope it off so you won't harm me? Um, do you have the ability to rope it off, or would you need assistance with that? Yeah, I don't think attractive to rope it off. We could probably look at people that's around that spot, like trees and poles and stuff to see if it's Let's let's yeah. talk about that offline. Yeah, yeah. So uh, whether it be barricades or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Photo and video has come up a couple of times, and I know I've interfaced with Martha and Rich as to that day. Um, we have a few folks that have volunteered: Salvador, Dave Clark, with photo. Um, I know at one point there was going to be a connection to there, MCAT. So there are two students from. Hartnell College um, film production crew who will be videotaping all of the short talks cool. and the little plugs. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and how about anybody else on photo or video connection? Okay, just I'm, I'm going to work on a videographer that I know that's a student at MCAT. So that's yeah. I, I want to make sure we have a couple of cool videos. And also Wes White talked to you. And Wes as well. Thank you. Is that cool, Wes? Yeah, no problem. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. And maybe photos as well. I don't know if that's. Great. Yeah. Cool. Yes. All right. Great. You, SD card. We'll figure it out. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Very good. Okay. Um. Let's see. Just moving right along. I'm just get kind of a list I'm working through here. Um. The dinner. Now the dinner is set for the twelfth. And as of today, Nancy says only 21 people have paid. 
Now she's gotten a bunch of RSVPs, prank calls even, people with heavy breathing <laughs> on the answer machine talking about Founders Day dinner. But she assured me today, she's like, cash is king. Unless I have money, heavy breathing doesn't do it for me. So uh, she's all business. So she really does. I mean, is there anybody here that has not paid for the dinner? Uh, okay. Oh, you have to be a tap Yeah. Okay. She can have 50. She can have 50 and she's a 21. Is there? Okay. Great. And are you and how many of your friends? Okay, so Patty plus one. Is there anybody else? I saw Salvador. Salvador plus one. Is there anybody else that's planning on going at 75 bucks? I'd be paid. What is that stuff? Yeah. What time is it? It's, it's, it's in the packet. 530. Now, just an important announcement. We have the Estudiantina. 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 Um, and are we, are we, are they included? Are we, are we giving them dinner? How no. Many? I don't know. <laughs> How many of them are there? Twelve. Twelve. Well, let's talk about that. Maybe, yeah. maybe that. Okay. So that might be a possibility. But if there's anybody else, let us know. I told her that I would announce that. So we have a lecture then to fill, right, Martha? Because, or do you? Let me see if I can make it happen. If I can go like a six. Six. six is fine because you know the five thirty to six thirty is appetizer time. It's just listen oh, to this. Music. Music. Six thirty. Six six fifteen. We're gonna start saying take your seat, take your seat, and then first course at six thirty. Okay. I can be there at six fifteen. Okay, great. So. So then I need to pay. Yes. And <laughs> for whoever else is going, and then I guess the only thing I would say to this whole group is, is it. Steve's doing his job. If anybody else um, can help to promote this, I think that's that's the only other thing I was, um, was going to say. And um, yeah, I think that, that's it. I want to invite Mary to say a few words just briefly about the program. Um, it's at the end of the table there. I mean, I, I don't know if you want to highlight it or just say it's being taken care of. But uh, first of all, I want to because Anita put together a gorgeous cover. It includes Steinbeck's original plot map for the Salinas, city of Salinas, wow. an advertisement from April 11, 1868, yeah. wow. which eliminates any other discussion, <laughs> and then several other uh, uh, announcements. Um, so I, if you, I want everyone to take a look and make sure that your information is accurate, because once it goes to the printer, it's gone, and it's going it's either going tomorrow afternoon or Monday morning. I'm going to tell you it's going tomorrow afternoon. So that means if there's anything that's changing, I need to go by noon tomorrow. Noon tomorrow. Patty okay. and Tom and yes. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you guys. You know, a couple of thank yous. I want to thank Gavel on printers. They really yes. came in uh, real good. Uh, not to mention on the poopers. Uh, Star Sanitation, they discounted by 250 bucks a bill that was already pretty darn competitive. Our poopers are going to be under a thousand bucks, so that's really, really amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that's that's a good thing. Thank you very much, Anita. Thank you very much, Mary. One more thing. Yep. I'm sorry. There are some organizations that are listed, but I didn't know who is the person that's doing that's representing them. So if there's an organization and there's a black name beside it, if it's you, put your name down. Got it. Otherwise, that can solve. Go check in, guys. Well, we can yeah. always guess. Well, I'm trying to give people credit. <laughs> okay, um, just a moment on promotions and advertising. So, 22 four by eight signs are out in the community. Has anybody seen any of them? Yes, yeah. everywhere. Good. Um, yes, that, that's a good thing. Uh, all I've got left is a stack, not very big, and some posters that I'm going to be delivering to Kathy for our school, our, excuse me, our city libraries. Um, you know, we could ask ourselves is it worth printing more? Postcards. Um, now they're all over downtown. They've been passed over. I mean, all over the city. But I, I, just to report, maybe or any comments on additional printing that's needed in the next week and/or on posters. Yeah. So if we could, we I counted a total of 1,500 that we grabbed that day. Yep. Um, and some of the schools said can every kid have this, but that means we're short. <laughs> 7,500. <laughs> so I can push the button tomorrow morning for 10,000. They'd be here Monday. Oh really? Yep. And we can do it. We've got.
not about the little ones. The little ones. Okay, so yes. Okay, so we're gonna order ten thousand more. And note to self. Yeah. One side English. Yes, the same. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank um, you. Sure. And then the other thing that Tom and I talked about yesterday is giving more budget to Rich to do Facebook. I don't know how many people here are on Facebook, but I am seeing our ad so much. It's wonderful. Like whatever you did, your algorithm. And the cool thing is, it's not just for the event. I'm getting hit with Lincoln. I'm getting hit with Roosevelt, and I'm getting hit with the dinner. So we want to continue that. Um, yeah. And I see, I see the people who don't do anything about it, you know, those are the ones that are going to probably come. Yeah, that's right. They don't have to, you know, say that they're interested right. and then they're not to go, right. you know, so right. hopefully it's working. The only other thing I would say for those of you that are on social media, uh, this is our, as we've been doing so much, this is our selfie here. So everybody on the count of three, kind of get crazy. There we go. Yay. We got it. Um, <laughs> Take some pictures yourself, um, or you know, and tag as many people as you can, and say this is going to be a lot of fun uh, because we're going to have a petting zoo, and we're going to have a pony ride, and we're going to have chicken dinners, and we're going to have docents at the railroad museum, so much more. So, uh, just our organic promotion on Facebook is is very positive. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Steve, is, is the Californian likely to do a story? Yes. So a couple things on the Californian. Yes. yes. Um, they will be here day of, and they will do a story in advance next week. Uh, and they have accepted Pete Andreessen's very well-written kind of your history, your community, your schools, your historical resources are worth it piece. So that, that's, that's a good thing. Um, um, yeah. And then yeah, any other media contacts you yes. have? I mean, to yes. Patricia and La Buena, and your work with Univision, yes. uh, not to mention Mary and her pestering, Matt, uh, getting him here today. He here. Well, whatever it was, your magic wand worked. And so. uh, Tom Mike, he's also doing a series, uh, a couple articles for the Herald. Great. KSBW is a little harder to correct. Well, to the extent that each of you have organizations, whether it's the Boy Scouts or AXA or the Native Sons, I know there's a publication that comes out every quarter because I get it due to ride the road by the Castroville Parlor. You know, any, any sort of publication that can play a role. Farm Focus has been great. The Chamber of Commerce has been great. Their newsletter that came out yesterday carried another ad for us. So um, I'll leave it on that. Um, as for volunteers, this, today, here and now, this is going to be the volunteer sign-up list. So if you need volunteers, you need to put it on here because we are allocating volunteer resources right now. If you have volunteers, whether they're Boy Scouts going for their Eagle badge or whether they be Anita's Tressa roommate, uh, sign her up. Give me her cell number and I'll call her. So we'll pass that around. Um, I want to open it up. We got about ten minutes here uh, for just kind of anything else. Um, you know, there's going to be a few comments, whether it's the Native Daughters or whether it's the Boy Scouts or South. So we'll start here. This is kind of the anything else that we may have forgotten. I know there's a question pending on the Charles as well. So yeah. So, uh, on the 2018 anniversary, this is the 120th anniversary of Alexander Hamilton Charles Lee Charles Lee Charles. Ooh, very cool. Maybe we can note that next to your credit. Uh, yes. Not to, so 120. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, moving right along, Salvador, did you have something? Yes. 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 I I sent emails in the beginning uh, when I announced the Tunatina. Uh, I need a host family at least for two nights. That means those official nights to host one or two of the students. And those people can have maybe a band that we can move the group from one place to the other. That would be very, very helpful. At this moment, I don't have one. But I spoke Casa Guanajuato just in case we'll have to, you know, at least do something about it. So that, I mean, that's all. How many more homes do you need? I don't know. Right now, only oh, yeah. cars, and, uh, and then uh, I mean, and another person. Yeah, we have we, we have, have two families. families. Yeah. Could. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want to sign up? So we'll four. 
So anybody think that they can host, and how many homes, you said 12 people, right? Or do you just yeah, need well, two they, they can take one or two. Okay. I can teach them that. Yeah. Yeah, we can take two or three. So Mary, two or three, Carl, two or three. I'm going to check with my wife and our, our, our baby, but maybe, maybe one of the other next one. They can so. see one. That would be pretty cool. So I'll have to check. Anybody else open to that? See Salvador. It looks like Anita might be able to help as well. No, no. Oh. She's really tough. She's got her hand up. Okay. Um, okay. So I'll live in town. Uh, you guys know let me know if the van doesn't pan out. I don't know. I don't want to volunteer the city, but Kathy knows we have one van for library and community services, but that's a big ask. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe just make a note, pass that along through the, just, you know, um, because I guarantee the Estudiante Tina is going to want to come by City Hall. Like, meeting the mayor, make sure. Just so that's on your radar, Kathy, because otherwise you're going to get a call from Sal like five minutes before they're at City Hall. Um, it might also be worth having them come by the... I'd love to have Yeah, to come by. I mean, we need to parade them around. So if you want them yeah, at the fall year meeting next week, if you want them at your, uh, at your uh, chambers for your board or something, I don't know how you want to do it, but if there's... Depending on how it works out, if they're yeah, we can move them on. They, they can go and do different venues. So, you know, we can do those, those two days. We can take advantage. We can get a bus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, moving on to it. Okay. Uh, I have a correction on your uh, March Chamber of Commerce insert. Oh, that thing's gone. Done. Already no, printed. Well, there's no such thing as a model railroad museum. I I keep thinking there is. No. Okay. How about just a model railroad? No. How about a miniature railroad? No. Well, you, it's oh. an interactive diorama. Oh, okay. Well, I thought those were models, but they're interactive. I like that. Yeah, it's, okay. it, it's just a, it's an inter interactive exhibit that depicts Monterey County as it was in the spring of 1953. All right, I and got it. And trains move around. I'll make sure that's noted in the minutes. I like it. Um, okay, Sounds anybody fun. else? We're going around. We might need to put the scouts on the spot. Do you guys have a booth at the event? No, we're actually having, helping you to sign. Oh, awesome. Okay. Well, if there's a way to pin a badge on this thing, um, we'd love to have some of the, the scouts to come out. Yeah. One more thing. I forgot. Oh, boy. Okay. Every city or venue that the Argentina visits is customary to give, like, uh, like a button with, with some ribbons, with the colors of the city. Yep, yep. We have swag. Okay. You'd be amazed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we can put, swag. if we can put what we designed for the 150th, and put down a button with some, uh, with some ribbons. We'll have, to, we'll have to talk after. Yeah. Um, but let's get with the city ASAP, because yes. the train's going to leave the building fast. Okay. okay. So um, going around, just rounding out. Yeah, Karen? Question again, I have volunteers for our Arts Council booth. How do I get the parking passes? At check -in. Well, at check-in at the latest, but otherwise we're going to have it here next Thursday. Okay. Next Thursday we have a four to five meeting here. It's our last meeting before we okay. head over to Steinbeck and... Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll have parking passes next week. We'll pass them out. Um, okay. Anything else? Yeah, don't... So... With the food booths, where, where do people eat? I mean, other than walking around, this might be one place. To be. Yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a good question. And when this meeting's over, logistics should sort of just sync up because already there's a short list of tables, chairs, other stuff we're going to want to add to our order with the staging. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of tables in the city trailer that we get with chairs. All the yeah, time. the city trailer is something I haven't talked about because it's our just-in-case emergency secret sauce. So there is a trailer that will show up the day of, thanks to Kathy and others, uh, that, that will include tents, tables, and chairs. But that's just in case, like this is last minute emergency where Rich comes up to me and goes, dude, we only have three tents, we need six. You know, and I'll be like, hey, the trailer's in the back, you know. Um, We're so, counting on the chairs for the main stage. I know. Oh, Not to mention, yeah, these chairs are going to be in here. So, so we may need to add. chairs from my area over there. 
Okay. Yeah, you have chairs and tables for Native Sons, so we'll have to just sync up afterwards and throw a couple of things on And we're on bringing our own, so. Good. Okay. Um, and Mary's letting us up, but we're between Mary's and ours. I think we're bringing 60. Is that what you guys said? Yes, decided? 60 chairs. So, <laughs> but that'll be, again, you know, for our booths and for the children's mm -hmm. area, and then uh, for any handicapped or senior you know, seating that we need in front of the stage area. So okay. between what Mary has and what we're bringing, I think we're okay. That's good. Oh, we don't have, we don't have tables yeah, for we don't have that. tables. So. That's where these come in, and uh, probably some tables and chairs we will add to our order okay. and pepper about. So it's a right. very, very good question and good <laughs> point. Um, yeah, moving right along, is there anything else kind of just rounding out this side of the table? Anything that's on, I know since it's kind of at Mary right now that's come up, will the Charles be coming? Have you confirmed with them? Okay, no Charles, okay. No Charles. So, no Charles. Are you doing the volunteers? Is that what I'm understanding? Uh, no, she's got five. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I passed that list. John, make sure that this comes <laughs> Oh, I didn't know who was. She's helping. She's bringing five slaves. I mean, American yeah. parts. Uh, students that are available. Yeah. Hopefully six. <laughs> John, who has the list with the new? Is that in front of you? Keep it going. Next. If, you need, if you need a warm body, you don't have to put your name down. It's just if you need a warm body. I'm checking with the lock. Yeah, so that's good. They're all high school. Okay. Um, cool. Anything else over here that before we kind of? Um, okay. Maybe um, you know, just the only other thing I was going to say, and I, and I, I know I mentioned this in the email, is the debrief. So as of right now, we have a meeting next Thursday, which is set for the twelfth at four o'clock. That's kind of our last. Like, is there anything we could have missed? And then the next meeting after that will be May tenth. And that's Thursday, and that'll be at my home. I think so. Uh, God bless my wife. Uh, but we'll have food, and it'll be two hours, and we'll have the opportunity to say, okay, what went well, what do we need to improve upon, and let's sell it. So hopefully by then, Tom and I will have everything reconciled, and we'll be able to really say, okay, we've got seed money for next year. And, you know, I want also everybody, I mean, this has been a great, great working committee. I mean, I was looking over notes. It's been over a year, it seems. Uh, and to other folks that have been involved in other things before, we haven't met that often, but everybody's managed to kind of keep things rolling, and it's really been a success. And so in thinking about next year, should you want to be involved, or how you want to be involved, or how we can twist your arm again, uh, you know, that'll be on the table as well. And I, I do want to make a special point. It's been great working with our elementary school district. And um, as we smooth this out and keep the, the train rolling, so to speak, I really hope that we can, yeah, further. Uh, yeah. So um, anything else? We're kind of at the near the end of the meeting. Yep. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Because I, I put in the notes Thursday the 4th. So next week. It's Thursday at 12. Thank you. What time? 4 o'clock. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I know it's inconvenient. You're going to probably want to show up here looking pretty for the dinner. I mean, you know. This is a good question. So some people are some people are going to get decked out. I would recommend those of you that are coming to the dinner, you know, dress nicely. And those of you that can dress as it was, say, classic or period, bring it. You know, if you've got a bonnet or a corset, let it rip. You know, whatever it is. Alright, I know we're kind of getting anxious, but we're actually getting okay. any other time. One thing that we have to do before is actually the program next year's date. Yeah, we have it. It's April 23rd. 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 Those of us on logistics will hang out. We'll just double, triple check the staging, the tables, the chairs. Um, and uh, I, think that's, I think that's it. Make sure you've looked at the program. I see the volunteer list only halfway. Karen, kick it, kick it over. Karen, that list. Yellow.
Yeah. 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 Keep it going. Just take a quick glance at it. Uh, if you have a volunteer resource need, otherwise, forever hold your breath. Okay. Thank you very much for coming, guys. We'll see you next time.